Okay. Let's play some rabbit games on chess.com. I'm going to play 10 minute games. There is no increment, so I got to be very conscious of the time. I got assigned white on this game, so I'm just going to turn the board around. And let's go. Opponent's having a long think about how he wants to respond to the queen's pawn. He's coming out with the queen. Get the knight involved. He's bringing the bishop out. Let's see if he wants to trade a bishop for knight. He does. I'll just take back with the queen, keep my pawns all together. Okay. Oh, good move. Go ahead and exchange the pawns here. I don't want to open up the file here. Queen's under threat. Let's pin this. You can just go back here. He does not. Okay, so that knight is pinned. Well. Since it's been, pin it and win it. He's going to throw in a check, but I can block that easily. Block with the knight, block with the bishop. Bishop, he exchanges, I take with the knight. Which way do I want to go here? I think I'm going to block with the bishop. Hopefully he exchanges. Okay, so he puts me in check. I have to respond, just take with the knight. His knight is still pinned and still under attack from my pawn. Let's see how he responds. Okay, he's going to castle, so he's just going to give up. And take the knight. He's going to capture back with the pawn. That opens up his rook. Nope. Oh, I see what he's doing. I cannot capture, expose the queen. So what we do here, he's going to bring the rook up and attack. I'm going to prepare to move the queen. Just sidestep it. Okay, so now which way do I want to go with the queen? I think this looks... Stay in the dark squares so I can guard against where his queen can go. And this pawn's under threat. But we're up a, you know, up a night. Which way do I want to castle? Could also bring the queen back there. You know, maybe should have actually kept the queen there on the last move. But we'll just castle here. Lose that pawn. It's okay because what I'm going to do is. Line up and attack this way. Okay, great. Exchange rooks. 
He's going to move a pawn out. I still have seven minutes left. Got plenty of time. Just got to make sure to save time for an end game. Again, we do not have any increment. All right, so what I'm going to do, crash the queen in here, exchange queens. He's got two pawns up on me. I have the knight, though. So I should put the knight to work getting these pawns. Get the knight more active for sure. Get it out there. All right, so he's going to exchange. We're going to take that queen back. And let's win this pawn back right away. Nothing can protect that pawn. Now that he only has one rook, my king is rather safe. All right. Take that. Got it. Win another pawn. Hmm. Okay. Let's see here. So... No fork, but I can just take this pawn. Okay, now we're back even on pawns. No big deal. So for this, what I'll do is I'll just take his pawn. I'll give up mine. That's fine. I'll go here. Which way do I want to go? Let's make room for my pawn to come out. We got a pass pawn, so try to advance that down the board. And Make sure not to leave my knight in front of my rook in a way that he can pin it. Plan here is just to get this closer and closer to the end zone. So queen that pawn or make him sacrifice the rook to prevent the queening. Need to bring the knight back to defend over here, but there's no good. Let's see. Thought here is I can still defend the pawn this way. Mm, no, because then he gets down there. Oh well. Okay, what do we want to do? What if I check him? He goes in between. I advance the pawn. He goes here. I advance.
advanced opponent again. I get a queen. He wins something. Three and a half minutes. Um, you know what? Let's do it. Let's see what happens. He'll go here. All right. That's fine. I go here. I okay losing a lot of pieces. Just get the queen. Probably a smarter way to play it, but I'm running out of time. So. Okay. I see what he did. That's okay. Because what's going to happen here is I'm going to queen. He'll take my queen with his rook. I'll take his rook with my rook. And this should be, I got two and a half minutes to do the end game. Okay, let's go. I might have caused the draw here. Nope, we're going to win this pawn. No problemo. And then let's do a rook and king checkmate and a minute 44 while moving both pieces. That's no problem. Okay. Let's see. Really got to hurry up. my head against the camera. Sorry about that. Uh, there we go. Minute four. This could be intense. Can we do it? Yes, we can. 54 seconds to go. Let's go. Actually, let's just do that. And here we go. Boom. With time to spare. <laughs> um, and we'll add up our mistakes and blunders and missed wins. Hey, not bad. No blunders? Okay. You guys want to do another game? Uh, 
Okay, still recording, still rolling. Let's start another game. Play, let's see what color we get. Oh, we got white, excellent. All right, let's go. Okay. Oops. Got to put the piece in the square so it knows where you're moving it to. Otherwise, though, I mean, it handles amazing because, like, it can tell when you release the piece. So you can actually sit here and do stuff like this, for instance, where, like, um, maybe, 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 you know the real way you play over the board chess. So the only smart chess board that can do touch recognition like that. Uh, what to do here? I don't know. It'll probably bring his bishop out so he can castle king side. Oh. So here the key is, if I take there, I could capture two pieces. Um, I could also take here with check and then take the knight. Either one really works. Let me just do the forcing line. So he's kind of just like giving up a piece. I don't know why. Unless there's some trick that I'm not aware of. If so, it's pretty deep. I think he just realized what he did. And I'll just try to continue to develop. So, probably knight out, push pawn, get bishop on the diagonal. Let's retreat back here. The square is very safe. He's got no e-file pawn. And then this knight guards this square against any queen bishop. He's still got his dark square bishop. Any battery going there. If he pushes, I'll just trade. Trade pawns in the middle. We're ahead on time in this game. That's a relief. Right, so he castles queen side with an already damaged structure. So we should just kind of line up everybody and attack over there. I'm pretty safe over here. What to do first? Well, here. Get him out. Here, he's got... I mean, I can take... Take with the knight, but I'd end up losing that knight. Where do we go that's safe? If I go here, he pushes again, and I just jump back. Let's try that. This square is defended by a lot of folks, so if he eventually makes the pawn there, we can take it. Yep, so he pushes, that's fine. I jump back. If he pushes one more, I take. He could bring this knight here, but I guard it. That bishop can come and defend that square, but I can just push that pawn and kick him away. Yep, okay. So he's done that. This is not even a defender of that square, so that doesn't add an attacker. I mean, I don't even know if I actually want to push the bishop away. What I'll do is this. Should scoot this guy over. Yeah, you can have that. It's fine. Let's do this. Okay, that's fine. Again, I'm up the night. If 
if he pushes, just drop the rook back. All right, because he's got two attacking. I've got, if I just took, he would take with the queen, take with the queen, I would be down. So what we do is this, and if he slides over here, I just go ahead and take with the rook. I can also jump this knight here and attack it. Well, he rules that out. Okay, fine. All right, so this is the move here, right? What I do here, boom. Now we're gonna exchange the pieces because he either attacks and we trade all this and I end up with the rook in a, in a knight versus a rook or he dodges this and I go ahead and attack. Okay. I'll take that. So now he's down to a queen and a rook. What do I wanna go with this? Let's line up on this file. You gotta be careful not to get back rank mated. I like the knight here. I can push the rook behind the queen. That's just gonna induce him to push the pawn out though. At some point I do wanna open this up as a relief for my king. So, I do want the knight over here. All right. That's an interesting one. What I can do here. I'll give up a pawn this way. Because takes, takes, takes pawn. Or just takes the pawn. Let me think. If I take this and then he goes down here and I check him, he comes out. I check again. Can I get back? Yeah take that pawn. I think I am not making a mistake. Not 100% sure here, though. So he goes there. This is, I anticipated this, but I can go check, check, and then back. So let's do that. Ooh, there's a problem. I check and he blocks. And then he takes. But if he blocks there, I can go right here and guard. All right? All right, so I did that. Is there anything else here that's even trickier? Yeah, I can take another pawn and then get back to here. Let's do that. Okay. This is actually a check, too. <laughs> okay, so here what we can do. Let me do this. I'm going to make him get rid of some pieces. So what I can do now is I can actually take, when he takes, I can cover the king. Oh, even better. Check this out. Check. He has to get out. I take that rook. Can he block? No. 
So he just lost the rook. Okay. I'm going to take the rook with the queen. Right, rather than the rook with the rook? I think so. I don't know. I didn't... Maybe I should have taken with the uh, queen and kept the queen, but this kind of forces it. So now he's really down material. We have four minutes left. Time to just... I can't be back rank mated. Uh, what do we do? We're going to clean up these pawns. Um, i got to make sure he doesn't promote here. So first action would be to... I'll even sacrifice the knight just to get rid of that pawn. That's fine. I'm actually just going to give up the knight. Come here, pawn. And that's fine with me. Then I'm going to cut him off from taking that other pawn. Actually, here. Good luck. I can get back there in plenty of time and sacrifice the rook. Which is fine. Because he's never catching up to this. Yep. Good luck catching that one, bud. The rule of the square. So, ah. <laughs> um, I mean, I can always take that pawn. So, let's see if he just makes even worse errors. Get checked. I would like a queen. He's going to take that pawn. No problem. What we're going to do... is win that pawn without losing the rook. Gotta be careful not to stalemate. You see the lights changing brightness? There's an ambient light sensor and I'm in kind of a dim room so it's changing his mind about whether it wants to be in bright mode or, or low light mode. Uh, so here, if I just cut him off there, does he have an escape score? Yes, so cut him off there. And I'm just going to kind of ladder mate to the edge. Oh, shoot. I guess I could have just... I was much closer to a checkmate than I realized. But whatever. Play it safe. Don't stalemate. And he still can go here. So we're good. All right. Another checkmate. Oh, oh wrong piece. This one. We win. Let's see how many blunders this time. No blunders again. Excellent. Good. All right, so that's chess up on chess.com. It is time to test out chess.com on the chess up. So playing online games on chess.com on a real chess board, we're going to test it out on the iOS release. So played a bunch of games here, and what I'm going to do is play another one. So we're going to go to new game, online match chess.com i'm going to log in let me see might already be logged in yes we are already logged in and what we're going to do is do a new game on here this is the mobile browser 10 minute game is great i am playing with a physical board so need the time to move the pieces and what we're going to do is hit play okay and we got white so perfect don't even have to turn the board ready to roll and there we go. Open with the queen's pawn, he responds with the knight. Just support my pawn, I'm gonna knight, bishop, castle. The opponent's thinking. You get the pulsing knight icon. Push that pawn. Hopefully he takes it and he loses his center pawn. If not, I'll just take his center pawn. Oop. Sorry. 
Tried not to bump that as I was getting the piece bag, but I bumped it. All right, so he retakes with the knight. That's fine. Which one do I want to pressure? Here, I'll go here first. So yeah, I'm playing with a like a camera holder flexible arm thing right in front of my face. But I can still see the board just fine. All right, castle. If he pushes my bishop away, I'll just move it back there. Uh, let's attack this knight in the middle. If he takes, I happily retake with the pawn, so I get another pawn in the middle. This guy takes his time. I'm already up a minute on time. He castles. And I will take that knight. He'll retake with the pawn. That's his only choice. Now what I want to do... I'm going to start pushing stuff up here. Both have both bishops left. His light square bishop is worth more than his dark square. All right, so now the choice is, do I actually trade the bishop for the knight? Yeah, or do I retreat? Um, I'm going to bring the bishop back. Now, one thing of trading is it gets rid of this knight and it opens up this for my knight. Maybe I should have taken the knight. He's going to jump in here. Yep. All right, so... Well, maybe I missed my chance to get rid of that pesky knight. The queen protects this bishop. So what I'll do, I guess, I'm going to attack his bishop. Dog scratching it in the room. Sorry if that's in the noise in the background. I mean, if he takes the bishop, I retake with the... The queen I should have traded when I when we were up here. Plenty of time. He's a slower player. So if we're getting into an end game, I might have the time advantage. I'm gonna take his light square bishop. He might take mine as well. We've induced him to open up this. Um so maybe now I want to preserve this light square bishop. Yeah, let's do that. Before I do that, though, is there anything... I don't see any kind of forks or anything nasty I can do with that knight. I definitely want that knight out of here, so I'll probably just attack him this way. Yeah, dog scratching at the door. I can't get up because the chessboard and is in my lap and I got this whole recording set up. All right, he's backed up that knight. Um, I will give up my dark square bishop, who's kind of blocked in anyways, to get rid of that knight. And if he jumps out, I can then attack this pawn. And 
he'll back that pawn up. But then this leaves that backwards pawn here. I can start pushing, maybe open that file up and get him with the rooks. All right, he's already moved that one. That's great. I'm going to take this. He could take with the bishop or the pawn. He takes with the pawn. Um, I'm going to threaten this pawn before even... That's attacked. Okay, back up that pawn. And now I have this open file with a backwards pawn. If he moves it two, two ranks, I can just take. And then he retakes or something with the... Okay. So he does it. I'm going to take, and then he's got the bishop or that pawn. Either way, I like my pawn structure more than his. You could also do this. This is kind of nasty. All right. Any danger? No, not really. Gets the dark square bishop behind. He's still got a couple moves to get that all lined up. I can just push this pawn. He doesn't have any knights that are getting in there. That light square in front of the queen's pretty safe, or in front of the king. So now I think what I want to do is open this up. I take here, and no matter what, I think I'm going to end up winning this pawn with check. I well, maybe not. Recaptures there. That's just. He <laughs> put him back. I mean, he's biting on granite or whatever they call it there. All right, uh, time to line up to attack that pawn. What else could we do? Yeah, let's do that. So we'll bring this rook over. At some point, I do want to relieve the back rank, rank mate threat by just relieving that king's pawn out a little bit. This rook really can't do much because his piece, his piece, his piece, protected by a pawn, like, has really no way forward except to come way over here. Okay, he's going to back up there. Um... I could do this, then push that pawn. Oh, maybe I should just push that pawn. Yeah. All right. I'm going to back this up here and push this pawn with this rook behind it. That's fine. He's going to retake with the bishop, and then he's threatening to attack this piece. That's fine, that's guarded twice. Oh, he retakes with the knight, okay. Where to go with the queen? If I drop back here, he's gotta answer what he wants to do with that rook right away. This square is guarded. Hmm. I think I trade rooks. I could give a check for fun. Yeah, I don't like this doubled rooks. He takes with the rook. Okay. Now here I could... What's the proper way to do that? The danger with putting the queen there is he discovers an attack. No, he can't discover an attack. That'd be checkmate. 
So I'm threatening mate right now. Completely even a material. He's got these doubled pawns over there. His bishop's protecting both, but it's kind of stuck there. He goes there. Okay. So I could slide over one. I could slide over here. I like that. I want to keep the queen. I feel like I have the better attack here since this king is open. What I have to be careful of is I can't move this rook without dealing with this checkmate threat there. So I'd have to like drop the queen back. I don't know what his plan is here, because I guard that square. So, for instance, if I take with the rook and then he drops that, then I just drop right back, he can't checkmate because I still cover this a lot. So I think I'm okay. I think he miscalculated. Yep, so he does that, but he doesn't realize I cover this square so many times. And I'm still threatening, well, if not... So yeah, I'd have to calculate it, but I'm getting a few checks in for sure. Yeah, I think he just realized he miscalculated that. That rook is defended by the king, the queen, the bishop. He only has two attackers, which is too, too many, too, too few. <laughs> I could check him, he goes there, I could check him there, I have a lot of checks. And then I could almost just force an exchange of queens. Okay. So this is interesting. And I gotta back up the king. I still have enough protectors. I didn't see this one coming, but I still think that rook is plenty defended. And the question is, can I go on the attack? If I get rid of this rook, I could back my rook up. There's nothing he can do. And then I can drop my bishop back to here. Oh, check here. His only move is there. Check block. Okay. I think I want to lead this with the check from the bishop first to scoot him over so that he has to. And then it would be checkmate. No, he could escape there. No. Okay, I might have checkmate. I want to do it in the order of the bishop first so that he can't get to this square and get out. He's got a long thing here. He's done a minute and a half. All right. He can discover... All right, so I think I have a checkmate here. Let's see. He goes over here, and then that's mate, I think. Oh, he blocks with the rook. Mm. So what happens when he blocks with the rook? I mean, here, I can always just do this first. That rook is pinned. Well, not really, because I don't want to leave a queen pinning it. So he's going to drop the rook back. All right. I can come back here, and I'm threatening mate on that square. Let's see what happens to that path. He 
And I might just clock time him out. That's fine. Okay, so now he's defending. Right there, still checkmate, right? Now if he can escape there, then I can get him with the rook. Let's do that. Okay, so check. Escape score there. Right? Oh, shit, so I can also just win the queen. Let's do that. Goodbye. Well, exchange queens, I should say. Actually, do I want to take the rook first? Because he could defend the queen. If I do this, I'm not giving up mate. My king's safe. Let's do that. I think I just win the rook clean and then I can exchange queens. I do want some relief when I get a chance. He's down to 18 seconds. He's lost anyways. All right, so here we go. My best move is to take that rook. And now we do this check. And we, oh. <laughs> This and his queen is pinned and he's losing that queen. I mean he's five seconds left, so it's game over. Check. Alright. Can I get a checkmate in here? Let's see. Maybe in time before he runs out of time. Nope. <laughs> he ran out of time. Alright, I win. Oh. One blunder. We'll review that later.